Hey guys, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to put a PSP theme on a PSP, of course. Well, as you notice, I'm going to go to my firmware version. As you notice, at 3.72. It's kind of hard to see because of the background, but it is 3.72. Now, what you want to do first is go to your internet browser. Go to your URL at the top of the box, right here. Now, erase all that and put www, I'm sorry, I want caps, www.psp-themes.net. Now you'll be taken to the home page. Now, I usually go to Top Themes because that's where you can find everything, usually the good stuff. Now, click on Top Themes, and it'll load you to the Top Themes, obviously. How convenient. Now, let's say, what do we want? Um, Metal Gear Acid. I'm a, I like Metal Gear so as much as the next guy. They're pretty cool. It's a pretty cool game. Now, what you want to do is click Download Theme right there. It'll ask you save everything. Press save. And save it in a place where you know where you're going to put it. I have a folder for themes, so I know, it, I know where it is all the time. Alright, so press save. It'll take like a second or two, depending on your modem. Now, exit out. And what you want to do, you want to go to USB mode. As you notice, of course, my PSP is way different because I have a theme on. All the icons have changed and everything, so yeah. Go to USB mode. Oops. Oops. I need to connect my USB cable, of course. Had it connected to something else. <laughs> Sorry, hold on a second. Alright, now it's connected. Hang on your computer, it'll make a noise or a pop up with the window. Mine doesn't, I have to do mine manually. It's hard, I know. <laughs> Click F or G, depending on what USB port you are. Now, what you want to do, you want to click on PSP. And what you want to do, you want to make a folder called theme. I already have one, but I'm going to show you how to make one anyways. So click new, click folder, and what you want to do, you want to name it theme with all caps. This theme, not themes, theme. Now, I'm going to, I'm not going to do it because I already have one, and I don't want to get rid of all my themes on my PSP. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Now what you want to do is Here's, it should be an empty folder. Now, as you can see, these are just my PSP themes, so just ignore them. Nothing really to see. What you want to do, you want to minimize. And you want to go to where you download that one theme. I, I have a separate PSP folder for all my themes, so it's very convenient. Go to PSP themes. And what we downloaded was Metal Gear, so it should be in here somewhere. But right here, Metal Gear Acid. What you want to do is copy. You want to go back to your theme folder. Now what you want to do, you want to paste right here. And it should be the last one, the first one on yours. There it is. Now what you want to do, you want to exit out in USB mode and everything. Now you want to go to your theme settings. Click X. Click theme, which is X. Now you want to scroll down to your PSP theme should be at the bottom. There is right there, Metal Gear. You want to press X, it'll say Apply. It's saying would you like to overwrite your current theme and everything, press Yes. There, it'll say Please Wait, it'll take a couple seconds. Here's the Metal Gear Solid theme. Well, as you notice, everything has definitely changed. Um, this is pretty cool, it has, all the, it has the weapons in it, it's kind of hard to see, sorry. It has pretty much all the weapons. The background's pretty tight. So icons change everything. Now, if you're asking about game boots and stuff, don't even dare, because you need um, 3.71 and 33-3 or 2, or 1 for that matter, pretty much, or 1.5 or anything with a hex code like numbers and letters. Now, um, I hope you enjoyed this short video, and if you have any questions or comments, contact me, and um, or video request, and I'll try to put one next day. Thanks, and have fun. Happy theming.